check out the Chiefs defense here. Uh, in week five, this was clearly their best outing. Yeah, they sacked Blake Bortles five times. They only allowed 14 points, and the takeaway is a huge part of that as well. Five total takeaways uh, there. So, you know, DJ, when we were watching this game, it became clear that the early pressure the Chiefs yep. were able to get on Bortles made a difference. We can start with the very first play when you roll the tape here, even though this is the first pass play for Blake Bortles, and it resulted in a conversion. It was third and three, but this kind of just set the tone of what his day was going to be like. You're going to see Justin Houston. The one thing as a tackle you don't want to get is beat inside. Here he allows inside pressure. Again, it's a completion. It's a first down, but the very first play of the game, first pass of the game, Blake Bortles has a defender right in his face, and that theme would hold throughout the game. D. Ford was outstanding. D. Ford playing for a new contract. Watch him win with speed, a little dip, rip, and finish with a forced fumble here on Bortles. They were just bodies around him the entire game, and he threw it 60-plus times. I don't know if that's a recipe for success. Another example here on a turnover, and watch Blake Bortles' feet on this one where he's going to get another pressure, a little stutter, an easy win. Blake Bortles is kind of falling off. It's just his feet get away from him and you end up with another turnover. So there was edge pressure coming at him the entire game. And I feel like with some of these injuries in the NFL, one we haven't talked about, Cam Robinson, I thought that injury was felt in a big way in that game. I thought the front for the Chiefs dominated. You know, I'm happy you brought up D. Ford because I think when when you look at previous seasons when Tom Bahali was not what he was early in his career and whatnot, and D was hurt, they didn't have that compliment yeah. for Justin Houston. Now they have that, so you can't simply slide protection to Justin and protect in that way. So to me, D has been critical to what this defense has done, and now getting folks, you know, the Chiefs talk about in training camp, not everybody was on the field, so their communication wasn't as good early in the year, and so they feel they're going to continue to get better as the season progresses. Well, first of all, congratulations to the Chiefs for their second consecutive early October Championship. They have, they have now won it two years in a row. Uh, and, uh, and, and I don't mean to be skeptical, but you know, last year we, we saw them come out like this. They hit a lull where they didn't really seem the same, and they never got it back. And uh, that doesn't mean that history always repeats. And they do have Patrick Mahomes, which is certainly exciting. And I thought one thing that was interesting about this game is. We didn't see Patrick Mahomes doing Brett Favre things. We didn't see him looking like a new breed of quarterback. We just saw him playing an efficient game with a couple of mistakes, no throwing touchdowns, and uh, they still won. 23 points. I mean, because yeah. you had the defensive touchdown, you hold them to 23 points. You got to find a way to beat now, the Chiefs. Now they got a case. pretty significant game coming up Sunday night. Well, well, what's interesting though for the Chiefs, and we'll get into this a bit later as well, is they're finding new ways to win. We saw it early, first couple of weeks with the explosive plays, whether it was in the pass game or in the run game. And then Kareem Hunt really takes over last week. This week, the defense stands up. That's the mark of a team that maybe is built for some sustainable success. Yeah, they were answering questions in the locker yeah. room afterwards about how this 5-0 and start is different from a year ago. Or Andy Reid has had teams start 5-0 and three times, and yet those clubs have never won a play or did right. not win a playoff game. So the reason Mike talked about skepticism, I think, is that is can the Chiefs sustain this going forward? And Show the reality me, right? is yeah. you're going to have to score points to beat this club. But if this defense can hold up and get better as they believe it will, This is going to be an awfully tough out this year. Only undefeated team in the AFC.